am I... Am I... Dead? No, not exactly. Your sentence has been adjusted. What? The tribunal decided that in your case, execution was too lenient. Too kind an end for a murderer of such voracious appetite. You've been genetically devolved. What? Genetically devolved. This is your punishment. The worst sentence we could pass. You're a human being now. A human being? Yes. A primitive life form occupying the savage planet Earth. We will land there soon, and you will be left. Banished. A generous action on our part. Better than you deserve. Banished. Exactly. You've no hope for return. But I... I'm alive. Yes, for now. But remember, de-evolution is a flawed process. It doesn't always work. Your ingenuity will determine your ability to survive. Good luck. At least it's a chance. I'll kill you. A word of caution. Guard your body well. Damage to it may result in painful metamorphosis. Or worse. So he takes this big-ass ball bearing and drops it down the end of a high-pressure hose. And just as Dave comes around that corner, pow, he lets him have it. <laughs> Knocked him dead on his ass. That little squealer is lucky we did not break his arm. Yep. You told me. Give me a cigarette. I thought you quit. I did. I just won't worry. Give me one. Well, if you really want me to. Give me a damn cigarette before I knock your head off.
human. What's the other one? Hell should I know. Bet he is glad to see us. Howdy. There ain't nobody gonna believe this. Oh, yeah? Take the car and go borrow Joey's van, but don't sell him nothing. If we can get this thing out of here, maybe we can sell it. Who'd pay money for this? Somebody will buy it. The army, the circus, fucking Johnny Carson. And get some dry ice, too. Why don't we just put it in the trunk? I am not putting that thing in my car. Maybe we should just get the cops. Don't be stupid. Just go do what the hell I told you. Well, go on, goddammit, go! <laughs>
You ever been to Hawaii? Yeah, I was there last night. Yeah? How was it? It was nice. That's it? I mean, some imagination, just nice. Want to know the truth? No, not really. They kill each other over coconuts. All they eat is fish, and it rains every day. That's not Hawaii. That's Cleveland. See, I've been to Cleveland. <laughs> Come on, play fair. <laughs> Is that Scully? Well, that's what it looks like. Uh, yeah, now look. Here's a woman. No, hey, 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 take it easy. Wait, wait. Hold the Scully police run your way. Hey, asshole! Hands above your head now! I'm innocent. I didn't do nothing. I have a warrant for your arrest on charges of rape, sodomy, and attempted murder. You have the right to remain silent. And let her go. Scully, let her go. I'm here. Yeah, Take a shot. Take a shot. Loose it on the face. Let her go, Scully. You fuck her. I'm going to shoot your ass. Back the fuck up. <laughs> you wouldn't shoot me. Try me. In the back. You ain't got the book! You have the right to Ow, remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you. Ow, you have a God. right to attack. Oh, what's the matter with you? If you, you can't can't report, report, you're in big trouble. I could really go for a honey like you. Ah, oh, you're hurting me. Hey, I didn't think you heard what I said. We can play house. I'll bring my friend. Uh, ah, but you can't even take a joke. Oh. <laughs> car once. I was seven. Playing with my brother's skateboard. Zoomed out in the street and wham, a cookie truck crashed right into me. Knocked me out cold for a minute. Head was as big as a watermelon. Really gross. Driver felt bad. Stopped by our house. Gave us a whole case of cookies. I mean, can you imagine? Oh, what a joke. Turned out okay, though, because we sued the guy and went to Disneyland. Disneyland. Well, oh, uh, uh, 
Sure you okay? I am fine. Yeah, well, I'll take you to the hospital anyway. Headlights bald on you? Grab some sunglasses. Some sunglasses in there. Go ahead, grab them. Don't worry, it's registered. I'm not a criminal. Just can't be too careful these days, that's all. For God's sake. Go ahead, put them on. Put them on. Go ahead, go ahead. Kinda cute. Kinda. Hey, just take it easy. There's no rush. Is he dead? Oh, yeah, he's dead. Maybe we can bring him back. Anybody try CPR? Gee, you know, come to think of it, I guess we forgot. Where is he? He's over there in the bushes. Why don't you go over there and see what you can do? How you feeling? Better, thanks. Sorry. Hey, that's OK. Tell them the ambulance has arrived, will you? You do it OK. <laughs> this is Unit 14. Read me over. Check Unit 14. Read you, Roger. Over. The paramedics have arrived and they're taking the body out of here. We're leaving the scene and we're taking the uh, suspect in for questioning. Over. Copy Unit 14. Over now. Funny, officer. It's real funny. Hey, I thought you'd be amused. Hey, well, you want to tell me where the head is now or is that too much trouble? No trouble. There is no head. There's no head. No head. What happened? Well, that's for him to know. And for us to find out. So anyway, I was totally into it. Totally. I was working out five, six days a week, four hours a day. I was collecting unemployment, so I had the time. I was taking all these aminos and vitamins, eating all this health food and stuff. And I looked great, I'll tell you. I look great. But, uh, everything's got its price, you know what I mean? Me, well, <laughs> I developed this terrible hemorrhoid situation, so... So I just gave the whole thing up. I mean, got your help, got your wealth. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm not speaking too frankly, am I? It's good, because I wouldn't want to do that. You sure you're okay? <laughs> well, here we are. Look, I have an itty-bitty baby favor to ask of you. Would it be okay if I didn't go inside with you? I mean, it's up to you, but I'd kind of rather my insurance company didn't find out about this. Of course, we don't have insurance. Well, you know, maybe we could work something out. We could, uh... Where are we? At the hospital. So what do you say? Is that okay? Is it a deal? Come on. Buddies, pals, friends. Oh, great. Thanks. Thanks so much. Thanks a lot. You're such a love. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll see you later now. Bye-bye. Bye. We'll just go right in those doors. I'm sure they'll take care of you. <laughs> see ya. Can you close the door? Close the door. Will you get... Close it. That's right. Just give it a shove. Bye-bye. See ya.
You wanted to see us, Captain? Yeah, got a homicide in the forest preserve. Throat slasher. I want you guys to take it. Sex crime? Ritual murder? Maybe. Anyway, it's hard to say. They not only slashed the throat, they uh, chopped off the head. Chopped it off? Chopped it off and took it with them. Now, I want you down to county to interview this son. He's our only suspect, but frankly, uh, this is a strange piece of shit. I mean, the kid's got a record, but he reported the murder. Well, he didn't exactly report the murder. He reported a, a headless monster from outer space. The uh, arresting officers found a hunting rifle at the scene with a silencer on it. You figure it out. OK. Oh, <laughs> 
I guess I ought to see the other guy, right? I better get you fixed up, buddy. Cops come through here, they run your ass to the morgue or to the drunk tank. Did you try this on for size? <laughs> e e e easy, partner. I. I'm fine. Sure you are. But you look like shit. Put this on. See what else I got here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not over that one. Never mind, never mind. You do what you want. From out of town, right? Where you from? Disneyland. <laughs> you are weird, my man. You are weird. Weird. Never mind, I'm kind of weird myself. Wow. I'm getting tired. Let's go down to the mission. Commission? Yeah. Rich Carton filled up, ain't it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I like you, man. I like you, man. You a funny guy. Come on, let's go. Come on, my brother. Hi, Kip. I'm Detective Pierce, and this is Detective Krieger. We're going to ask you a couple questions, all right? What were you doing in the forest preserve last night? I already told the police. We were hunting. We were hunting deer. With a silencer? That's not what's important. What's important is we saw this flying saucer. Well, I mean, we didn't actually see it. It was more of this, this bright ball of light. And then this, this guy and this, this monster came out of it. The monster, he, he looked kind of like a lizard and a bug. Bug. Well, they were fighting. Well, my dad took a shot at him, but it got away. 
And then the guy, well, he looked kind of normal at first. He comes up to us like he wants to thank us or something. But when he gets up to us, he just hits my dad, knocks him down. And then this guy starts shaking, turning into this it's an alien thing. Everything but his head. His head just, just exploded. Just completely disappeared. My dad, he sent me for help. I got scared, so, uh, so I went for the cops. When we went back there, my daddy, my dad's head was ripped off. And the thing was just, it was gone. Oh, look, I know I sound crazy. I don't know if I believe it myself. But it's true. And we deserve that money. We discovered it. My dad would have wanted it right, that let's way. Let's cut the bullshit, kid. What the hell were you doing in the forest preserve? Fuck you! You think I'm crazy, right? Would that make everything better if I was crazy? Is that it? Would that, would that make things better? Okay. All right, Kip. We just need to know what happened. Fuck you! TV, it gives them ideas. The drugs make them crazy, and the TV gives them ideas. This country's going right into the crapper. <laughs> Come on. Get the fuck out. Let me go. I'm going to get you, pig. I'm going to get you. You all right? I'm going to get you. Lunatic. Dr. Powell. Say, Julius, a main man, give me a dollar. I'm halfway to a fight. I ain't got a dollar. What I look like, Donald Trump? Why don't you ask my friend and main buddy here? What's your name again, homie? Bob. Bob Lenny. Bob. Yeah, put it there, Jim. Bob. Bob. I ain't got a dollar. <laughs> you don't, huh? <laughs> well, don't leave me hanging. Go on, shake it. It won't cost you nothing. Are you sick or something? Hey, come on. Hey, man, spit it out. Hey, man, don't. Come on, spit it out. 
something. What happened to this guy? If I didn't know better, I'd say his head had been squeezed off. The lacerations around the neck are too irregular to indicate anything else. And it appears that a wild animal ate some of Mr. Robert Laney almost immediately after he was dead. Ate him? Not his best day. Have to run some tests yet. Do you think he was killed somewhere else than dumped in the preserve? Probably not. That would be inconsistent with the condition of the body. Blood would have pooled in various places since the heart wasn't pumping. Connie, what do you think happened to the head? I don't know. Maybe animals took it. Do you think it's still at the scene? Oh, that would make your life a lot easier, wouldn't it? I ain't shitting you, man. I won the lottery. That's more than you can say. Now, what the hell happened to the money? Man, you talking shit. The daily game, man, not lotto. Wasn't but 890 bucks shit. I spend that in a week. Go ahead, man, turn it up. Humphrey, save some for the fish.
Wasn't it beautiful? Today was my kind of day. But be prepared to bundle up tonight, especially in the western suburbs. Tomorrow, a cold front coming down from Canada and a warm front coming up from the Gulf could collide and cause some precipitation. Will it be clear or will it get nasty for this weekend? Be back with you in just a moment. Up next, sports on Channel 10 Metro News. Charles. What's the matter? We got a cigarette on you. You're not allowed to smoke in here, you know that. Oh, babe. Maybe you gotta help me. I'm dying. Okay, you want me to call a nurse? Oh, cut, come on, cut it out. Cut it out. I'm not kidding. Now, listen. <sighs> Give me a butt so I can smoke it while I'm moving my bowels in the toilet, huh? Supposed to use the bedpan. Oh. Don't make me beg you. I can't use that fucking thing. Hey, 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 look, here, here. I swear to God, I swear on my mother's grave that I won't do nothing. Just let me sit on the toilet and move my bowels and smoke a cigarette while I'm doing it. Is that too much to ask out of you? Huh? Forget it, Scully. No can do ski. Okay, 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 okay. Give me that thing. Jesus H. Christ, you gotta make a federal case out of everything. Or simply irresistible. Sybil brings out the feel of the moon. No two feelings are alike. Can someone so sinister be Finding an unemployed transient murdered tonight in an alley three blocks from the Pacific Mission. This is the second decapitation murder reported in the city in as many days. But police decline to speculate on whether the murders are in some way related. Unlike the previous killing, both the body and the head of the victim have been recovered. Take me to the nicest places, Charlie. Stick with me, kid. <laughs> There's ten guys in there. We should be booking right now.
darling, you look marvelous. <laughs> And then he just twisted his head off, like you take the cap off a bottle of wine. Blood's everywhere. And I started running. Man, I mean, I ran for my life. But you had been drinking all day. Yeah, but I wasn't drunk. I saw the guy turn into a monster. His, his hands, his arms, OK? His, his head, OK? His, his head got real weird. And then he ripped Julius's head off, twisted it right off. Look at me. Could I do that? I'm asking you, could a regular person do that? Yeah. Did your monster have a name? As a matter of fact, he did. Very particular about it, too. Uh, Bob Laney. His name was Bob Laney. Diana, can I talk to you for a minute, please, outside? Wait a second, Creek. Mr. Whitefeather, this is Detective Krieger. Tell him the monster's name. Bob Laney. Diana. Krieger, I don't know what is going to have anything to do with this, but Bob. I got some bad news. Scully escaped. Judas was guarding him at the hospital, and he attacked her. It's bad. He beat her up pretty bad. Is she going to be OK? Yeah, they think so. Look, um, why don't you go down to the hospital and I'll finish this up? I should have wasted him. What? I should have wasted him when I had the chance. Oh, yeah, right, Diana. I forgot. This is all your fault. Go on, get out of here, will you? Say Julius See her now. What time is it? Seven thirty. Thanks. Don't stay too long. I fucked up. So bad. 
You didn't fuck up. <laughs> could have happened to any of us. God, that asshole could have killed me. I guess I'm lucky, huh? Do anything for you. Feed your plants. Water your cat. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get you a pair of sunglasses for that black guy. <laughs> look that bad. I'll have you looking like a rock star. Let me get out of here real quick, okay? Diana, can you do me a favor? Anything. Can you catch that prick for me? He's top of my list. Quite similar to that of the other victim. This time they found the head, but, uh, well, take a look for yourself. Not exactly a match set. Meet Robert Laney. The other victim. Right. Dental records, positive ID. What's going on here? I've had blood drinkers and skin peelers, but this is a new one on me. And here's the really weird part. Histopathology found elements of a third blood type in Laney's head. The perpetrator, Greg. I didn't say on his head. I said in his head. This is too strange. And guess what? This one was eaten too. So we're dealing with a serial killer who's not only a cannibal, he injects his victims with his own blood. That third blood type, we haven't been able to classify yet. Classify? Yeah. We don't even know if it's human. Hello, beautiful. Miss me? Busy day for you? That's the way I like it. This one ain't much. Passed out at the museum. She came to before we got there. He didn't want us to touch her, so we didn't. Probably hasn't bathed in a couple of years. He's got some terrible kind of skin condition on the back of his hand. You can handle it. Gee, 
Thanks so much. Dr. Jeff Jones. Let's go. Sorry, love. Duty calls. Oh, leaving me again? It's a cold, cruel world, darling. Ciao. have an appointment. All right. Come in. Come back in 15 minutes, nurse. Now, what's the matter with you? What's happened? Now, I'm not going to hurt you. I just want to take a look at your neck. I can't help you unless you let me examine.
What a day. Krieg. Yeah. What if they're telling the truth? Who? The witnesses. Witnesses never tell the truth. I'm serious. So am I. All right. Then what was Robert Laney's head doing at the scene of Roosevelt's death? I don't know. Maybe it was part of the killer's ritual. I don't know. Maybe. Look, the kid's a dope fiend. The Indian's a wino. I mean, what? Are you trying to say that there are people from outer space visiting us here? Is that what you're trying to say? No, no. I mean, I don't know. But sometimes you wonder. Look, look. We homegrown right here. Look around you. I mean, we got enough Nazi Fagans here. I mean, Jesus Christ, we don't have to import this shit. Look at it. <laughs> That's what I like about you, Craig. You really let me know what you think, you know? <laughs> you don't fuck around. <laughs> hey, watch it, lady. Unit 22, come in. Come in, Unit 22. Over. Unit 22, over. 218, Unit 22, and Rotenhoff. You got another one. Repeat, 21 yeah, I know and Rotenhoff. Yeah, we're on our way. Kick it, baby. Let's go. All right. Come in. Can I help you? What can I do for you? I'll be with you in a moment. Are these yours? You must be working your hard, Doc. What was it, a car accident? No sleep. No sleep? <laughs> You're a funny guy, Doc. Don't worry, I'll take care of these. Nosebleeds. <laughs> I'm a funny guy. Hi, Dr. Cheever. Hi.
talking about that was great you stink it to piss my wheels it to piss my ass i like the part about killing your parents oh i shouldn't want to kill my parents what they ever done for me you are seriously twisted man you know it okay here it is you look like shit i do not not you him i look great he looks great i do he does you look great <laughs> i do sound like shit. Oh, you, we may never find our friends again. We tried. Now let's eat. We don't have any money. Oh. No problem. We'll carve out an IOU. Yeah. The natives are restless. Maybe it's the head hunter. Not funny, man. Head, head. I need my head. Now what is it? It's Vlad. Who's Vlad? It's Dr. Cheever's dog. He's a pain in the ass. Well, let's kill it and eat it. Well, I like your new song, Lance. It's stupid. <laughs> stupid song, Phil. Why don't the rest of you guys write some songs? Make a speech, why don't you? Shut up! Have some respect for a fellow artist. My good man, the sting of your humor is no more relevant than that of a butterfly's fart. Uh, where are you going? I'm gonna go see a man about a horse.
Okay. 3040 Lakeview Terrace. Yeah, I've got it. Okay. What do you think One, it is? Six, three, two. I have no fucking idea. Unit 22. Repeat that last description. Yeah. Okay, its head belongs to the dog next door. And its body... It's a monster. A monster? Yeah. A monster. You call Scarcelli and you wake him up. Are they sure it's dead? Yeah. Absolutely sure. No pulse, no respiration. What else is there? Could this thing come alive and rip somebody's head off? What do you think? Send it to the morgue. Did you tell Scarcelli it's a dog-headed monster? He believes you. He told me to tell you to send it to the morgue. That's where you send dead monster. Come on, kid. I'll buy you a drink. Come on. Uh, yeah, Citizen called at 4940 Stone. When I was working sex crimes down in Area 4, we had this, this young, pretty girl. She was a runaway. She said her father had been doing her, and had been doing her for a long time. She cried and she begged us to take her in, to stay at Audi House. And I vowed to bring him in. So we brought him in, and we turned on the heat. Turns out he was a substantial Joe and a loving father. And that she made the whole thing up. Getcha. Yeah. Well, listen, it's, uh, it's late and I'm beat, so let's solve the problems of the universe tomorrow, okay, Kate? What do you say? <laughs> okay, Charlie. You know your problem? You got no social life. Why? You want me to get married and all this will go away? No, no, this will all be the same. The only difference is you'll be driving in a station wagon to PTA meetings. Who take care of you, Charlie? God. Let's go, huh? Thank you, Joey. See you later, pal. Hey! Hey! What do you think you're doing? I'm taking a piss. What's it to you? It's my fucking city, asshole, not your personal toilet bowl. <laughs> Get lost. I'm a police officer and you're under arrest for indecent exposure. Hey, look, officer, I, I was just taking the wig. I... Wipe it out. Huh? Wipe it out. It's raining. Wipe it out. Now. Look, officer. Hey, I... you, you, you. Go on, get out of here. It's enough. Get out of here. Diana, I want to talk to you. I hate when you do that. I had it under control. Fuck. I think it's time you went home, Diana. I hate that. I hate that shit. You're making much too much of this. I've done it myself, you know. Dogs piss in the street every day. Well, good for dogs, all right? I want to go home. Okay, kid. Let's go. Come on.
Thanks. How you doing? I'm all right. Never a dull moment. Not on this job. Krieger? I've never killed anybody before. It's never easy. Maybe you ought to take some time off, kid. No, I'm OK. I'm going to stay. Yeah. It's your call. I just finished talking to the FBI. They want to talk to you guys. About what? About that thing you found last night. They don't know what to make of it. Well, what the hell do they expect us to do? Just explain it away. You can't do that. You have to see it for yourself. It's not human. If it's not human, what is it? Detective Pierce, homicide. Yes. We'll get over there right away. Trouble. That thing we sent Connie, she thinks it's still alive. Here. It's all right. Everything's under control. Call downtown. Tell Captain Scarcelli to get his ass down here now. Would you do that for me, please? Right away. Thank you. You all right? Would you get her some water? Yeah, thank you. You know all that money we're spending exploring outer space? We, we gotta stop. I, uh...
they going? They don't know what they're doing. Fred's never do. No. 